Alonzo. She too is aware of this reality and reluctantly she tells you to go ahead without her. I'll find a place to hide, she says, in a frustrated tone looking to the open door by which you first entered this place. As much as I hate to admit it, I know I can't do anything more to help. Do what you came here to do. I don't like the idea of leaving Vitarg by myself. I will prevail, you reply, with re resolute confidence. And together, we will escape from this accursed tower. You have my word? Ah, oh, you need not doubt me. Leandra, a Kai Lord is always true to his word. You nod your head and try to reassure her with a smile. She tries to smile back, but is unable to. Whether it is because of the pain of her wounds or her weakened state, or because she still harbors some resentment for what has happened, you cannot tell. You go with her into the adjoining chamber, away from the freezing cold and of this desolate windswept room. It's time to snow again. She needs to be somewhere she can regain the strength that was robbed from her by the wicked Vardak. You bid her farewell before you take your leave and make your way. Oh, before you leave by way of the door through which the Giax entered and attacked you. A long corridor awaits you beyond. At the far end, you see the bottom of a spiral staircase that ascends out of view. It leads all the way to the top of the Dark Tower. With weapon in hand, you slowly and resolutely commence your climb to the of the tilted steps. Tile steps. Ugh, I really, really wish I could speak. This must be the final part. Like, of the game. Atop the Dark Tower. Ha ha ha! The staircase has been left unguarded and no obstacles have been placed in the way to impede your cautious ascent. When you reach a circular landing at the top of the stairs, you look through an open portal onto the flat, scorched roof of the tower. Gunzai is here waiting for you. A winter wind howls across the open rooftop. It drives the light snow into... Flurries that whirl and dance wildly around its jagged iron parapet. Gunzai is standing near to the west edge, gazing through the visor of his battle helm at the heavy sky overhead. A storm is brewing in the dark lands, and it will not be long before it reaches Vatag. In the distance, you watch a fell creature emerging from the clouds. Astride its back, there sits a terrifying figure encased in gleaming black armor. Two pinpoints of scarlet light radiate from the sealed visor of its mighty helm. It is Dark Lord... Oh, crap. It is Dark Lord Harkon seated astride this, his huge winged mount. Neither he nor his Imperial Zlan Beast pay much heed to the force of the wind. They are both strong, enough to resist the gusts that buffet them ceaselessly. Gunzar turns away from the parapet and looks in your direction. He sees you and immediately he draws his mighty twin-bladed battle swords from their scabbards. You are too late, Kylard, he shouts in broken somlending, his foul breath clouding from the grill of his visored helm. Lord Harkon is here. Your fortress and your troops did not stop me, Gunzai, you retort, loudly enough to be sure that he hears your defiant voice above the innocent... In... Incessant? Incessant? Howling at the wind, I have no idea. But I will stop you. I am here to take my revenge for the blood of the innocents you have murdered. Gunzai laughed with disdain. Foolish Kai, always a step behind me. Even if a target should fall, it will be with no great consequence. It has served its purpose well. It will arise again. It always has, and it always shall. The loathsome cry of the Zalambis pierces the stormy skies, and Gunzar thrusts his twin-bladed swords into the air. Its proud salute to his fell master, seated astride the broad, its broad back. The Dark Lord comes to collect his tribute, bellows Gunzar. With confidence, he pats what appears to be a collinium case that is firmly attached to his belt. Zir the Zirintoz is ours. I have secured for him great power by the might of my sword, my cunning, and my guile. The Zalan beast circles high above the parapet and vents. Another piercing shriek that sends a shiver of dread coursing down your spine. You find solace in the certain knowledge that it shall not approach any closer to the roof while you will remain alive. Harkon is here, but his morbid fear of your divine blade prevents him from landing his mount upon, upon the tower roof and engaging you personally in combat. You wield the one weapon on Magnamund that can slay a Dark Lord. You have used it in the past to destroy Ark Lord uh, Zagana and gladly you will use it again to dispatch Harkon if he foolish, if he is foolish enough to come within striking distance of its formidable power. The Warlord may not have realized it, but Harkon will not intervene in the coming battle. His spec- oh no, I have no idea. His voice cuts through the noise of the rising storm. Slay him, Gunzar, slay him for me. Around Gunzar's neck, the Shianti amulet flares into life. Although its power to twist and distort your mind has been 
irrevocably broken, you are sure that it still poses a threat to you in other ways. The final battle begins. Is this really? Wow, I am. I'm fully rested and everything. Okay, awesome. Make my choice. Holy fuck, I had to use everything. Understand how the amulet works. Uh, yes. <laughs> Gunsar's amulet is, gro is growing brighter and brighter, and the frequency with which it pulses inc is increasing alarmingly. It is full to overflowing with crackling energy that he stole from you during your first encounter. Whoa. Oh my god, that looks fucking badass. Gunsai is stronger than before, and he is faster and more sure-footed than when you faced him last. The amulet is key to his p increased power. If you are to defeat Gunsai in combat, you must find a way to prevent him from releasing the full power of the amulet. How? Kill him? <laughs> Aside from killing him, I have no idea what I can do. Me got no idea, man. No idea. Not a clue. Whoa. Ooh. Whoa, this is awesome looking. What the fuck? He's floating. What? He looks a lot more badass. He has mana. He also has a lot of health. Oh god, that's increased his power, I think. Oh my god. That was ridiculous. I've no idea how much damage he'll do. So I'm a little worried. A little bit. Okay. Okay. Oh! It stops my endurance from regenerating. Oh, great. <laughs> that ain't good. Yeah, it seems like it does. Can I not, like, recover it from healing, either? Then. I wonder. I'm gonna try. And see what happens. Okay, it does. Phew! I just can't re re uh, regain it, it would seem. Oh god. Even though I was blocking, I couldn't dodge. Damn. This might be the last turn, though. <laughs> oh, of course. Right, yeah. Oh, fuck's sake. Should I just go for Gunzar or what? That's the real question. I don't have any Kai power, so... Maybe. I was gonna say, maybe going for him's the best idea. I don't really know. Oh, he took a while to recover. What the fuck? Nice. Ooh. If I can. Oh my god, I got him. Yes! <laughs> I wasn't sure. I thought he was gonna dodge. Ooh. Oh. Oh damn, we are tiny. Oh. Ooh. Okay. Oh. That's where it ends. Awesome. Well, that's where the combat ends. There's obviously going to be more shit to read. Mortally wounded, Gunzar has nothing left but curses for you. The unnatural energies of his broken amulet course through him and keep him alive upon the very brink of death. He is still trying to... get back on his feet when Harkin screams the order to seize the prototype and hurl it up to him. The sun is finally rising and the shafts, and shafts of warm sunlight flood across the rooftop. 
Gunsaw takes the prototype off his belt, he draws his arm back and prepares to throw the device upwards to his Fellmaster with all the force he can muster. This is the chance you have been waiting for. As you level the Somers Word, its blade now burns with golden fire. The sunlight has triggered a power that lies within the Divine Blade that you have never before witnessed. A sudden movement behind you makes you spin around with your weapon held. Ready to strike. It is Leandra, true to, true to form, she has disobeyed you again and followed you up the stairs to the roof. She is still very weak from the wound she has suffered, and the stairs climb... The stair climb has taken its toll. She slumps down on the floor near the top of the steps, and she seems to about to pass out. She calls to you in a desperate and plaintive voice. Her eyes are filled with terror. No, don't do it. You're too close. You hear Leandra's cry, but you do not heed it. You know what you must do. Gunzar throws the prototype into the air, and you raise the summer's word. Its divine energy is unleashed in a beam of pure light. The blinding beam strikes the device and destroys it in an instant, causing it to discharge its power in a fearsome explosion. The shockwave from the explosion kills Gunza outright, but it also sends you tumbling helplessly across the icy rooftop. The glowing summer sword falls from your hand and comes to rest nearby. Harkon vents a loud and bitter cry filled with anger and frustration. He has been robbed of his prize. Screaming with rage, he pulls his land beast away and urges it to return to Helgadad. You try to stand up but realize at once the, the blast has taken its toll. Your whole body aches and your ears ring loudly from the noise of the explosion and Harkin's bitter cries of anger and defeat. He is now too far away for you to retrieve the summer sword and discharge a second beam of light that will destroy him and his loathsome mount. Limping painfully, Leandra comes to your aid. She has escaped the explosion and now it is hard to tell who is in worse shape, you or her. I have healing powers though. Yeah, I can heal. Dean with the Andrew has not been easy, but that is of little consequence. Uh, what matters most is that together you have thwarted the Dark Lord's evil plan and spared your land from a dreadful fate. Whatever happens in the future, you know that you will always have a steadfast ally in this gifted and headstrong girl. After all, after all that you have been through together, you have emerged triumphant and made a trustworthy friend for life. Is that the end of the game? Oh, please say it is. <laughs> Like, the reason I, I recorded for so long, it's only been two hours though, is because I thought, yeah, the, the end of the game's gonna be coming soon, so. Might as well. Woohoo! Wow. I think it is! You faced the challenge and prevailed. With Leandra's help, you fought a host of deadly enemies. You survived the sunken forest and discovered the secrets of the Shianti Temple. Harkon and Gunzar were defeated by your courage, your skill, and your determination. Oh, yes. And now the sun shines brightly upon your homeland once more. Until the next time, stay strong and resolute. Oh, my God. Awesome. For Somalan and the Kai. Yes. That was the end of the game. Fucking awesome. That was really cool. And I'm not just saying that, like, I, 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 I really enjoyed that game. That was fun. I mean, I, I, I get the feeling not many people would enjoy it. And that's purely because it's the kind of game where you have to read a shitload of stuff. Like, quite literally, you have a full page of shit to read. Like, I don't know how many words I would have spoken just from reading the game's script. But, Either way, it's really good. Um, combat. Uh, I don't know how to word it. Like, it was good, but incredibly frustrating. Like, it seemed to be more sided towards the enemies instead of being balanced. Like, enemies could always parry you. It seemed. And I know in under the move sets, it or under the abilities, it did say like the strong the strong attack can be parried easily, and 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 stuff. But that didn't mean anything, because, like, even my quick attack would get dodged. And, like, there's been, I'm pretty sure there's at least one time when I, when I did all three, um, attacks. Like, the triple, the triple combo, um, the two hit combo, and then just the, co the quick attack. And I'm pretty sure all three of those got dodged. It's fucking stupid. Either way, that is the end of Joe Devers' Lone Wolf. So... As always, thank you so much for watching. This game has been fucking awesome. Honestly, it has been so much fun. 
it's it's been one hell of a journey on my throat because having to talk literally consistently or more so constantly for well now it's been two hours so all in all this game's like uh i think 55 no 54 parts so that's how many hours 13 and a half so <laughs> to be talking constantly for 13 and a half hours it hurts <laughs> but it's been fun so yeah that's the end of Jared Ever's Lone Wolf. I hope you, as always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. And until next time, take care.